Hi, it's Gadget UK here again, just out of the short live stream edit. So the original video was uh, probably a couple of hours long, and I've just cut out the bare essentials really, just to show how I fitted a socket onto one of these boards. This is a factory fitted one, and can you see, it's a little bit bowed here at the top. So this hasn't had the base cut out, but the approach I went with was, as you'll see, to cut the base out. It makes it a bit easier to fit. The first thing we need to do is work out which way to fit this socket. If you look at the socket super closely, which is my thumb there, can you see that little mark? Little uh, arrow there? That's the pin one mark. So just uh, carefully uh, comparing it to the chip, we've got a dot there. Can you see that? So that's pin one, and that will go like that into the socket. Um, you can also, stuck it in there a little bit now. You can also see it's got a chamfered edge here, you know, the edge is shaved off on one corner there, and you, you'll typically get that little gap you know, shaved off there in the socket as well. So we know that uh, pin one is here on the board here. It says this is the one on the silk screen in white. So it needs to go uh, there like that. Hopefully you can see the issue there. If I try and get a bit closer, just look at these pins at the bottom here. Look how much clearance there is. There's, there's next to nothing. There's next to nothing at all. Yeah, you need super fine cutters. That's for sure. Yeah, you see there's the little things that the supports are coming out. You know, they're breaking off, so I don't even think I could put it back on if I tried. Oh, come on. There we are. So we've got a few of the little uh, bits around it. Yeah, it's like I say, we know this is good. It's going to bow out a little bit, but if we stick that frame in afterwards, uh, I might be able to secure it with a bit of glue or something, just in the few struts that have not broken off. We just need to just carefully knock out these ones here that are just hanging off. Yeah, the old one that stay stay there, I'm gonna leave them. It's just the ones that are bent at angles. Yeah, that's one. One pin. I'll show you that one pin. See that? So it's held on that side. So all I need to do is do the same thing under magnification. A little bit more flux on this side perhaps, and then just make sure it's totally straight and uh, join the uh, pin on that side. And again, just a little bit of flux. Right, so let's uh, bring magnification in again. Again, you might not be able to see that magnifier, but trust me, I've got a that Mr. Magnifier, I'll show it you actually, this thing. Mr. Magnifier sort of sat over there, so I can see what I am doing. And if you look at that side row there, and the bottom row, I think, sorry, wobbling. So yeah, I think that's all right. It, you know, it could be a bit better maybe, but we've got two corners anchored and we can uh, prove that if I just uh, stabilize the camera a minute. You know, if we just touch this side here, you can see it's stable. But I'm just uh, bobbing into those pins there with a bit of solder. The other thing you may have to do is add the solder at the time you uh, touch the pin. And that's the difference with these because Let's say the tip I've got on the iron is not letting the solder flow down. But if you melt the solder onto the pin, then it's all right. Yeah, that one's melting, I think, now, is it? Yeah. It's the corner ones are the difficult bit. Once you get away from the corners, things start to get a bit easier. Here's a cap of IPA with a wife's toothbrush. Uh, and let's just have a, a bit of a, a brush in here. Right, I think that's going to be clean enough. 
Uh, you can always give it another clean later. So I'll just piss it up to uh, kitchen uh, towel. Start by going around the outside here on these things. Because it goes everywhere. Using the toothbrush, it spatters out onto everything in the nearby area. That's uh, the main problem. Yeah, again, the shape of some of these here, they don't look great, but they are flowed. They are flowed. Um, and of course, you can do the test, you know, you can just literally just try and touch each one, just see if you can move it, but uh, that'll be all right just for now. I can reflow it later, because what I would do later, I'll be honest, now, when I'm not on camera, I just get some flux all around here again now, and I just do some drag soldering. Just drag the iron down here. I'd probably use the Heiko at that stage. Just drag the iron across, and it'll all look really nice and level and smooth and like factory. And I do the same thing all the way around, and then clean it all off, just as you see me do with cotton buds and the, tr the brush. Um, the only reason I'm leaving these little bits of plastic here is because it might just help when we stick that base back in after. Can you see I fitted the base back in here as well? Um, and you can see the solder points there for just to uh, move the camera around. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Yeah, there's, they look a bit blobby, but they're pretty tidy. Hang on, I've not got that aligned properly, have I? Just push that back in. Yeah, there we go. And you can see, despite the fact that socket is not as structurally sound as it should be, it's not that bowed out. It looks all right. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.